Welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at uh, Q4OS. Now Q4OS uh, came out with a um, revision to their latest system. I believe they're incorporating Debian Stable 8.4 but they've also in, uh, included a new or modified version of their menu. Now this is uh, KDE based. <clears throat> uh, I downloaded it and I've been using it over the weekend. Uh, pretty much exclusively just to see uh, if I have any issues. I did not have any issues. Uh, stable as a rock, no problems at all. Now, this particular operating system is not for everyone. It um, It is um, very Windows oriented. Uh, it, it's for, they're trying to appeal, I believe, to corporations who are moving away from Windows for whatever reason. And they're uh, basically designing a desktop that fits into the corporate environment, fits into a business environment where uh, employees, all the employees can use the same operating system and enjoy all of the benefits of that consistency. Now, uh, it, it, it also, in my opinion, appeals to um, any one of us who might have someone in our lives that needs an operating system that wants to move away from Windows but wants that Windows look and feel. Uh, they want that comfort factor. And so uh, I believe this um, addresses that. You know, it's not for everyone. It's not for, you know, a lot of uh, Linux users who. Uh, like the uh, tweakability, like the um, various desktops, various window managers, various looks that you can get with window with uh, Linux. But if you're looking for a consistency uh, to your desktop and a familiarity, uh, especially for someone coming from Windows, uh, Q4OS really should be considered. Now, when you the install went flawlessly no problems at all it is a typical Debian install keep that in mind now when you when you sign in you're greeted with this welcome screen now <clears throat> there are multiple choices on the welcome screen first one run desktop profiler you can once you do the install you can either just keep the operating system and build it from yourself from there uh, install the Q4OS desktop with common utility system tools and libraries so that lets you build your software um, your software configuration or you can go with the full featured desktop which has a browser office suite and recommended applications now that's what I did I, I, I used the full featured and it once I clicked on that it did everything else it, it, it installed everything that I needed um, so I'm gonna get out of that and go back to the welcome screen now for installing applications basically um, it, it if you when you click on that it gives you a list of the most common uh, including installing synaptic Google Firefox LibreOffice the update manager now speaking of the update manager I did go through and and install a lot of these and you can see in the lower right that red star with a uh, an exclamation point it's telling me that there are five updates available and so if I ins a restart will be required so I'm gonna hold off on installing those but um, as you can see it makes it very easy now the proprietary codex I install those also um, I turned on desktop effects now you can switch to a kickoff start menu which I don't like and I'm not gonna do that because it requires a, a re-login but um, I'll show you the new and let me pull up the website the new um, if I pull up Q4OS you can see that they introduced the bourbon start menu with this version released on April 10th Q4OS 1.4.9 Orion now if you look at the menu it is it, as I said it's KDE based but it has a lot of similarities to um, XFCE 
one of the things that I like about it is on the right hand side it's it's really intuitive so if you uh, want to find files or folders there is a control panel and again as I said it's very Windows friendly uh, as far as the look and feel you got your browser you can install applications by clicking on the Q4OS Software Center you've got network folders my computer and my documents now on the on the left hand side I've got it set up with favorites now you can add a variety of things to your favorites but as you can see it's a it's a it's a tailored menu and it includes everything that you want it to include which is extremely nice now if I go into history you can see that everywhere that I all of the documents everything that I pulled up is there um, and so it makes it easy if you're sitting down with someone and and showing them the computer it's pretty easy it's pretty intuitive it's it's I think if they're coming from Windows it'll be easy for them to understand now if I go back to favorites you've got all of your favorites and you can designate those now if I click on applications if you've installed anything new recently it'll show up under new applications and then all you have to do is right click and this one's already in my favorites so that's grayed out but you can add it to the desktop or you can put it into a run dialog so as you can see uh, it really makes it easy for people to get acclimated to the menu and to the operating system itself now as I said it is based on Debian I believe it's the Debian 8.4 it is the stable yes uh, Debian 8.4 Jesse it's the stable version now I went ahead and tried to install everything that I usually install which means down in the system tray in the bottom right I've got um, clipboard manager now I did install Broadcom without any issues it's got your volume I installed P sensor without any issues I installed synapse without any issues and it's set up on the hotkey as it is uh, in any other Linux distribution Bluetooth and that is Kazam there is a clock and calendar and so everything is familiar if you go over to now in, in this in the the panel itself as you can see it stacks your open windows very similar to what Windows does uh, in the bottom left you've got a web browser you can show the desktop or and and uh, as I said that there's your menu and there is a search bar in the menu you can lock the screen you can turn it off now I'm not gonna click on that just yet now on the desktop by default you're gonna get my computer my documents my network places trash and web browser I have added War Thunder which runs flawlessly Synaptic Steam which runs flawlessly Hearthstone which runs flawlessly Gparted and I've got Google Chrome as my browser now I installed Redshift. It did not populate a an icon in the uh, system tray. However, it is running in the background. So Redshift is running. Uh, I could not get uh, Caffeine to install, but that's not unusual. Most uh, Debian distributions have a little bit of an issue with Caffeine. Uh, I have now. I have everything uh, running without a problem if you go into the control panel as you can see it's a very similar look to Windows control panels now you've got appearance and themes you've got some uh, configurability with the system although it is limited it's not going to allow you to tweak everything um, it, but it will give you some options as far as appearance if I click on the desktop and window behavior you can see that there is a lot of configurability in your windows now you can enable uh, the comp composition manager 
there are there are pretty much anything that you can animate you can enable the hover so you can do a lot uh, of what you would normally be able to do within Windows now under behavior show icons on the desktop uh, you've got your menu bar at the top now you can you can put a menu bar similar to Mac OS at the top of the screen I tried it I didn't like it but you can go ahead and do that there are there are some uh, options that you can configure and let's see one more thing I wanted to take a look at now right now if I open a window when I move it as you can see it doesn't display what's inside but if I click that and apply it should show what's inside and it does so you can change the behavior of the windows and I'll leave that just as it is okay so I'm gonna close out that window now it's as I said you've got a control panel if you go back it's got a, a many different uh, headings that are very Windows oriented so system administration you got sound and multimedia security and privacy peripherals speaking of peripherals you can see the USB drive that I have installed uh, or mounted and uh, the contents are available just by clicking on the icon so guys I think I've covered everything that I w uh, would normally cover um, as I said it's not for everyone but if you're looking for a uh, similar look and feel to Windows you're you've got a family member that needs an operating system um, to replace Windows this gives them the comfort factor and familiarity along with the stability of Debian. So guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Take care.